Hey guys, so Chuck E. Cheese is very similar to this channel, is dying. <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese's has been around since 1977, as you all know. It used to be its own company in the 70s, then it was purchased in 1984 by Showbiz Pizza, and later became um, Showbiz Pizza Time, Inc., and then later became CEC Entertainment in 1998, and... It's been kind of dying since the early 2000s, but Chuck E. Cheese's did start in 1977 by Nolan Bushnell, the founder of Atari, and ever since 1984, Chuck E. Cheese's has been on a decline. And in my personal opinion, I think 2.0 is going to kill the business. I do. I think 2.0 is going to murder CEC. And here's why. Chuck E. Cheese's may not be around in 2030. I'm not a business analyst, but I don't think Chuck E. Cheese's will be around in 2030 because they are going and spending all this money on the 2.0 remodels. And I personally think that they're going to be in financial debt again in the next three years like they were three years ago. Also, I just don't think arcades and restaurants are a good winning formula. Well, okay, Dave & Buster's is a good concept. Dave & Buster's isn't dying, I don't think anyways. But Chuck E. Cheese's is dying because not only are they removing the animatronics, which is kind of understandable because the animatronics were outdated and not looked at but then again they could have easily just replaced and or maybe updated the animatronics to be interactable like but that's just my opinion also Rockefeller explosions reproduction sign right there but yeah Chuck E. Cheese's um Chuck E. Cheese's man I went there in 2010 when I was like, I think 10 at the time. Chuck E. Cheese's is not, not doing too well. And they haven't been doing well since the character redesign in 20, uh, 2012. They have not been doing very well. And to be fair, I don't think Chuck E. Cheese's is going to really last until 2030. Or maybe even beyond that. I mean, technology is advancing so fast and... Technology's getting better. Technology's getting way better than it was like 45 years ago, 46 years ago when Chuck E. Cheese's was first founded. And, you know, I understand that Rockefeller, or that Chuck E. Cheese fans are pissed off about 2.0. I understand they don't like the fact that the animatronics are getting removed. To be fair, I think they're could have been a much better solution than removing the animatronics. Yes, it may have costed CEC more uh, more money to update the animatronics and to make them more interactable with with kids, but you know, I think it would be better than just destroying the animatronics personally. But I'm I'm not a business owner. I don't know what it's like to own a business. I really don't know what it's like to own Chuck E. Cheese's. I'm not a franchisee. I'm not a corporate guy. I'm just some random dude over the internet. But yeah, I really think Chuck E. Cheese's is going downhill. And I think the way to save it is to honestly open retro stores. Just stop gutting these freaking older CEC locations. At least keep a few of them retro. Like, turn them into museums if you have to. Like, turn these retro stores into museums if you have to.